Hey, what's up everybody? It's your Bake Monkey here. Bringing you these delicious tapes week after week after week. After week. After week. You thought I was done, but I went on with one more. Anyway, today, uh, I gotta tell you, not to brag or anything, but these are probably the best dessert I've ever made in my life. Uh, these pinwheel cookies, marshmallow, chocolate, uh, graham crackery, kind of crunchy bottom, covered in milk chocolate. Uh, what could be better, honestly? Let's get caught up with my hands here. So uh, we're starting with the chocolatey cookie. Um, it's kind of a lighter texture than like a shortbread. Uh, it's not as crunchy. It's a nice kind of soft chocolate cookie. Uh, so we're going to start with some butter. A little egg in there gives it a little fluffiness. Uh, this is a real nice chocolate cookie. It's not overly sweet either, so uh, kind of it's it's got a little bitterness to it to balance out all the sweetness from the marshmallow and the uh, milk chocolate coating. So. You probably also noticed that I added a quarter cup of the cake flour along with the half cup uh, all-purpose flour. Uh, what this does, cake flour is less glutinous, so it's going to give it a little bit more airy texture than if I were to use uh, a high glutinous, uh, a real high glutinous content uh, flour. You like how I said that? All right, let's bumble all over the place. And once we get these cookies all shaped into a nice um, cookie shape, uh, we're going to punch out the middle of them with a frosting tip. Uh, this gives the chocolate a little bit more surface area to get to. Uh, that way with every bite you get some, some of that chocolate in the middle too. Uh, you're going to bake those puppies up and uh, then we're going to start the marshmallow here. Look at this, isn't this fun? So the marshmallow recipe we are using uh, does include an egg white. Uh, if you have a, an allergy to egg, just go ahead and find a recipe online that doesn't have any egg in it. Uh, it'll be just as good, uh, or not. I can't attest to anything you find online. <laughs> but uh, try and find one that you can uh, believe in from a trusted source. Uh, Get your gelatin and egg white mixture whipped up before you start boiling the uh, sugar and corn syrup on the stove. This way uh, it's already ready and willing to accept the hot sugar syrup when that's all ready. Uh, the key thing about boiling this uh, sugar syrup is don't overboil it. You don't want it to become a thick consistency. You want it to be a, a nice just hot kind of fluid consistency. Uh, that way it runs into the egg white and gelatin mixture nicely and gives you that nice smooth shiny texture. And look at that stuff, that's money. Uh, you can't see me but I'm patting myself on the back right now for doing a great job. Uh, you can applause at home if you feel that's necessary. Uh, moving on we're gonna put that in a piping bag and put that all over our delicious chocolatey cookies here. Set the marshmallowiness aside for about an hour or so to let it set and let's get started on the chocolate. So in our case we're using a full cup of milk chocolate chips. Um, you can use any kind of chocolate you want but I like milk chocolate with these. Uh, we're going to add a teaspoon of coconut oil and stir that in just to give it that real nice drippy consistency that you need to kind of run off the cookie. Once you get those all coated, you're going to take a butter knife and scrape along the edges of the cookie so you don't get thick uh, kind of mounds piling around the cookie after it refrigerates. That'll just make it harder to cut them out and make them look delicious. Uh, they'll still taste delicious, but they won't look quite as neat. I really hope you give this recipe a try. Uh, I'm not exaggerating when I say these are some of the best things I've had. And uh, click subscribe. Thanks for watching.